for a perfect opportunity to pad out the LP. We're gonna do it, of course. But if it lasts for another 40 minutes, then we're not gonna be finishing the game this session. Cause like I said, I recorded an extra episode last time without meaning to. And I only need two more as of what time it is ish on the clock right now. To fill the week. Why am I talking about this? Nobody cares. Can I grow these plants? Grow plants. No. Save points. I've been looking at like these flowers. Well, I haven't been looking at the flowers, or rather. And then there's just that door. Give me your stuff, dog. Fight me for it. Please do not touch the merchandise. Francis will become quite upset if you do. Touch, touch. What did I just tell you? Borf. Would you like a bath, Francis? Francis, thank you for everything. Without your cunning and resources, I don't think any of these children could have made it this far. He? Oh, don't be so humble. There was no way I could have infiltrated this world through my power alone. Lelia's desire to maintain her status quo would have caused it to reject me outright. But you saw a role in this game, like story we could play, and you knew the laws it abided by. Our disguises as merchants led us right where we needed to be, undetected. A brilliant play in the fight to say so myself. It was the dog's idea. Mm-hmm. You're quite welcome, Francis. You know, perhaps one of these days you ought to take a form capable of speech. I'm certain the others would love to thank you for your efforts, personally. Oh, you'd prefer they show their gratitude in another way? Well then, I'll simply tell them to thank you in the form of pets and belly rubs instead. Does that sound alright to you? I don't know, I think I'd feel weird about petting the dog after knowing <laughs> what it was. Uh, I was waiting to see if it would be like how the others can talk to Ami and you get different results, but no, it's just Ami talking to her dog. I was like, now we'll get Sigurd's take, but no. <laughs> it's just just the same conversation that we already just saw. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll be, I'll be over in a minute. I'm never talking to you again, Francis. Not in this playthrough, probably. Uh, what am I going to get here? I don't like they're selling all the little fancy things now. We had never found a lunar pendant. A pendant blessed by the magical properties of the moon gradually restores the wearer's MP. Oh, one does HP, one does MP. Well, ain't that nice. I thought I had one of these too. Oh, I do. It's equipped on Ami. Humdy dum. Alright, we'll get one, sure. Now we own one. Uh, oh hey, the purity seal's back. Nice. I should probably put that on uh, Aomi. I already have a lucky cat. I don't even want one stealth cloak. Cloak is an assassin blend in the shadows. Boosts the evade rate. Ooh, that sounds good. Do I want an evade rate boost on somebody? Hmm. What items am I going to be using? How about we figure that out? My solar lunar pendant and the purity seal. I want the purity seal on Aomi. Recovering HP gradually. Uh... I don't know. Edric already has something that gradually restores his MP, doesn't he? Shut up, dog. Silence with your panting. Yeah. Magic power agility. No, all this stuff just boosts magic power agility. This boosts magic power. Alright, so no. No, he doesn't have anything that restores his MP yet. It must have been a perk of, like, another weapon or something. Alright, so if we're gonna put... Uh... This on Ami, and this on Edric... That means I want HP recovery on either Sigurd or Ruby. Sigurd has the most health, so he would probably benefit the most from this. If it's, like percentage-based recovery. That's just the feeling I have there. 
And that just leaves the question of what do we give to Ruby? She already has the lucky cat, and it's clearly the most valuable thing here, right? Or do we want her to be evasive? She is the squishy one. Mm. Mm. And there's like elemental stuff. We've seen all this other stuff before. You know, I think... I think I will. We'll give her the stealth cloak. The lucky cat's been nice, but I haven't really noticed too big of a spike in crits as a result of it, so... Yeah. You get purity seal, so you don't have to worry about statuses ever again. You can equip the stealth cloak, so that you can evade things. You get your MP gradually restoring, and you finally abandoning your feather boots they've been wearing since like the second floor, you get the solar pendant. I feel comfortable with that. Do I want to buy any actual items? I think I'd probably better, because like, if we're going into a bunch of single person trials, we're gonna want like, good restoratives to keep people healthy. Also, we have like tons of money and nothing to spend it on. Hmm. We've even got a bunch of those, jeez. Uh. Alright, let's get five of them. Or go, get up to 20 of the biggins. You know, maybe we just get 20 of everything. Already have 20 of these. No reason to, but we'll do it. Yeah, 20 of everything. Hmm. Everything. Except these, because I don't care about these. Or these. I don't care about them either. Um, I don't even know if these would be useful where we're going, but I guess I'll maybe grab, a grab a few just in case. Sure. In case I get tired of stuff. Thanks, Francis. Let's save the game. Sigil representing Sigurd's true name glows brightly. Send Sigurd to face his final trial? Yeah! You can do this, Sigurd! Alright, Siggy, you've got this! Just make sure you come back in one piece, okay? Right, I'll do my best. Don't get too cocky, Sigurd. I would hate to see pride be your downfall this late in our journey. Though, as long as you remember that, I'd say your chances of success are quite high. Heh, <laughs> leave it to you to keep me in line, eh, Edric? Okay then, here goes nothing. Here we are, the final trial of Sigurd. Well, looks like I've made it. No turning back now. Do your worst, Terravero. March on, brave knight, through the mire of misery and disease that consumes your spirit. Let no obstacle stand in your way. Slay your dragon and carve your own path to healing and happiness. You must don't leave. Although I don't know what I would ever expect to find under these things that's of any value. I mean, even if there was a plant under there, it's not like we can undergrowth it when we're by ourselves. Huh? What's all this supposed to be? And it's so dark in here, too. It's not that dark. I can see just fine. What? What's that noise? It's a swamp. Ugh, the stench. Gah. <coughs> oh, God. I can't. I can't breathe. I'm... <coughs> no, I've got to do this. No matter how much it hurts, I have to keep going. Alright, well. Okay, so we do take damage a little bit. If for per number of steps or whatever. So we just have to find oh, okay, never mind, it's it's time based. Still wanna find the fastest route possible. Uh, can't get through any of those. Hey, you. Don't make excuses. 
Oh, this feels like a trap. It's like, this this column is too convenient. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I was right. It's probably faster to go around than it is to go through. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, it is actually hitting his health. Eh, oh wait, there's no reason to attack that one. I could also just probably use an item to stave this off. Like, hey. There you go, bud. You're all better. Which way? Well, not that way. Destroy them. Easy. Probably didn't even need to use those items. Oh, oh we're not done. Oh, there's so many. Okay, there's no way to go that, or no reason to go that way. Check on his health. Uh, he's getting kind of low there. Suddenly, I'm really glad I bought all these dumb regular heals. <laughs> They're perfect for this. So much stone cleave. That's okay. We got plenty of practice throughout the adventure. Uh, this way. Wait. Do I really have to go through all those columns? Hey. That's how we stone cleave in this town. Um, trying. Like, okay, no, there's no reason to go that way. Erg. Go, cigarette, go. Action packed, stone cleaving action. Action, action, action. Uh Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can, you can do it. Just believe in yourself, bro. It's hitting his MP too, but I'm hoping that this- oh wait, no. The MP is just me stone cleaving so much. Yeah, I knew that one was gonna be too good to be true. That one on the left there. You can't fool me. Huh. Huh. Oop. Yeah, yeah, you can. There you go. Oh god, he almost died. Hmm. Over this way. Not really sure what a second chamber of all this adds to the trial. To be honest. Alright, which way are we going here? Uh, just up through all of them, huh? Keep cleaving! Keep it up. Get in there. Okay, I've got one left. Huh, <sighs> what's that? Stone cleaving? Something's pouring out of its mouth. Is this thing the source of all the poison? The source, rather. Huh? I... Ugh! <coughs> Foolish knight. What do you hope to gain by fighting that which is inevitable? 
<coughs> it, it talked? Huh. You. Who are you? What are you? State your purpose, you fiend. I am that which ravages the bodies of humankind. Men, women, children. I spare none in the wake of my destruction. I turned your organs, your cells, your very genetics against you. I watched you waste away, gasping for breath, waiting for death to take you. I am a dragon within your skin that, even now, you have no hope of ever slaying. You're... You're wrong! You have no power over me! Not anymore! With this new body, I'll... You truly believe that you have escaped my grasp. How naive. Your body may be gone, but the scars I left remain imprinted in your mind. I have already tasted your flesh, Ryan Elliot, and now I shall feast upon your spirit. Me. Stone cleave him. No, I won't let you. I have lived in fear of you for long enough. I have endured the pain of more of the dreams you stole from me. But that ends now. My suffering will no longer define me. It will only make me stronger. I swear on my honor, I will strike you down where you stand, and I will end your tyranny once and for all. Meh. <laughs> Feels a bit anticlimactic, but... <laughs> <sighs> is is it over? It's pretty over, dude. It's strange. I was so afraid of suffering, of death. And it's only now, when I've already died, that I've been able to conquer it. Maybe that's why this trial was placed here for me, so I could have the chance to learn that lesson for myself. I guess I ought to be grateful to the sour for once. You can take that head with you? It's like a souvenir. Take it. Take it. Dragon's head lay cracked and motionless on the ground. Oh. Stone Dragon's head has been severed with one swift blow. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. oh, sweet loot. Hold on. <laughs> Helps if you face the correct direction, even if you don't always end up facing the correct direction. So I wonder if that's a reference to that game, that Dragon Cancer, which is a very heart-wrenching story. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff. Whoa! Look at all this armor. This will definitely come in handy for. Well, boy. Huh? The warp activated. Looks like I can go back now. Hopefully I haven't kept everyone waiting too long. Let's equip that stuff. Uh, no, it's not going to be that. The survivor's shield. Shield bestowed to one whose strength has been forged from pain. With sigilly and luck. Yeah, it does. And a helmet given to those who strive to preserve life. Boosts magical defense and MP. Or max MP. Yeah. And armor that can only be worn by one who seeks to end the suffering of others. Boost attack and max HP. Holy warrior's armor. Look at us. We're all decked out and good to go. Activate the circle and leave the area. You look rather worse for wear, Sigurd. Are you sure you're all right? Haha. <laughs> well, it went a little rough, but I'm still in one piece. Guess I ought to be grateful that this new body of mine is as strong and healthy as it is. You mustn't misplace your success, Sigurd. Your victory was not due to your bodily strength, but rather your strength and will. It is a trait you've always possessed, even when you were ill. So please don't forget that, all right? Right. Thanks, Amatiel. I'll try to remember that. Now let's get going. Our friend still needs our help. Now nah, we're gonna do the other ones first. Eh, I don't want to buy, buy more of those wimpy heels. Just in case. They came in handy, unexpectedly. Dang, it's Save it. <laughs> 